Hello, my name is Julie. In partnership with Toyota, Off Duty Pilates is happy to release three exercise videos. These exercise videos are meant for everyone to stay fit and healthy in a time where we can't hit the road. The first video is for your shoulder and neck pain that can come from sitting for too long, which we are probably doing all too much of these days, right? So shall we begin? We are going to start with some simple shoulder movements. Let's get into cross leg position and your hands on the thighs and your head on top of your hips. Now grow taller first. Let's inhale through the nose as you lift your shoulders towards your ears and exhale through the pursed lips as you lower your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out each time you move try to increase the range of motion and let's do three more times like this two and one now we are going to draw circles with your shoulders when you inhale through the nose. Let's lift your shoulders up and back. Exhale lower and forward. And two. And release all the tensions around your neck and shoulders. You have four more times. And make sure that your head stays on top of your hip. And you have two more. And last one. Now we are going to do one shoulder at a time. Let's start with your left shoulder. Circle forward and back. Three. Four, you have two more times. Breathe in and out. And one more time. Now we will turn from your chest as well. So you look over your shoulders when you turn. Three, four, five, one more time, and six. Now your right shoulder, one, two, we will do four more like this, and last two, and last one. Now turn as you circle your shoulder, two, so you are looking over your shoulders, You have two more times. And last one. Now we are going to add your arm movement. Let's reach both arms forward. We are going to move your left elbow behind of your left shoulder while you're reaching your right arm forward. And return. Breathe in. And out. Grow taller. And return. Inhale and exhale. You have four more times like this. Come from your chest. Last two. And the last one. Now we are going to add arm circles. So going to lift your left arm up and back and down. And feel the nice stretch around your chest muscles. Shoulder muscles, four, and twist while you're keeping your head on top of your hip, two more times, and last one. Now we are going to draw a bigger circle by moving your right hand on top of your left thigh, and then can you turn your chest away from your upper hip? Then let's draw a bigger circle because you are pulling your thigh and you can turn 
even more. You should feel good around your shoulder and your chest muscle. Inhale and exhale. Just one more time. Now we are going to place your left hand behind your head and while you are moving your left elbow away from your thigh, you are pulling your thigh so that you are turning your chest to the corner of the ceiling and push your head into your left hand and your neck shouldn't have uh, wrinkles on the back. Stay here, look up. Keep your left hip down for five, four, three, two, push your left elbow out, one, and then return. And we are going to do your right arm circle this time. So before that, let's twist and then return. Two, inhale and exhale. You have four more times. Last two. Each time you're growing taller. And then one. Going to add arm circle and return. Two. Three. Four. Five. You have three more times. Come from your chest. And last one. Now we are going to place your left hand on your right thigh and turn your chest away from your upper hip and draw a bigger circle. And look towards your right hand and also try to keep your head on top of your hip. And you have four more times. Three. Last two. And last one. Now place your right hand behind your head while you are pulling your thigh. You are reaching your right elbow away and you are pushing your head into your right hand. Look slightly up. Keep your right hip down. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. And return. Now we are going to do cat stretch. Let's get onto all fours position. Your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your pelvis. And then you are going to tuck your tailbone in and you're going to round your lower back mid back upper back and head down you are looking towards your thigh then when you inhale stick your bum out and move your chest forward and feel the nice opening in your lower back and in your chest not just like that four more times exhale and inhale and you're pulling your tummy into your lower back and last two and last one now let's find somewhere in the middle where your head to the tail is straight line then keep your neutral spine. You are going to bring your wings together. When you inhale, when you exhale, you push your wings apart. Inhale, sink into your shoulders. Exhale, and push away from the floor. So while you're doing this, make sure that your head to the tail is straight line, almost better to the floor. And you are pushing the floor using this muscle here. Let's do three more times. And two. 
and last one. This time, we will place your hands a bit closer, but if you have any wrist pain, I recommend you to sit slightly back into your heels. Otherwise, you can just place your hands under your shoulders, okay? We will reach your right arm up while you're pushing your left hand on the mat and twist. And lower your right shoulder down and then rest on the mat. And two. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the first lips. You have three more times like this. And last two. Almost feel like your right shoulder is on top of your left shoulder. When you lift, one more time. And lower. Okay, now change. So your left arm to the ceiling while you're pushing your right arm to the floor and rotate, rest your shoulder down. And two. And three. And four. Two more times. And last one. Open wider. And lower. Okay, now we are going to do some stretching for your under armpit and your lower back. Open your knee wider than your hips and your feet are closer. And reach both arms forward. And you are doing a baby cat stretch. So pull your tummy into your lower back and elevate your shoulder towards your ear. And I want you to feel your tailbone is going down so that you feel the stretch here and your under armpits as well. Stay here for five, but try to relax your shoulders. Four, three, Two, one. Now we are going to add side bend. So let's reach both arms towards your right side of the mat. And your left hip should be down. And I'm feeling this entire line here. Feel the nice lengthening. Stay here. Four, five. Four, keep. Pull, pulling your left hip down. Three, two, one, and switch side. This time, reach your right hip down. I'm feeling my right shoulder, my right lower back stretching. Stay here for five. Four, if you want, turn even more. Two and one. And we turn to the center. So now you have more flexible shoulders and your mid back. I want you to reach your hands forward and your chest on the mat. So you can slowly walk your hands forward and move your chest down. If you feel any shoulder pain, I recommend you to move your shoulder slightly up towards your ear to move your chest down. Otherwise, don't go too low. And move your chest on the floor and deepen the stretch by moving your hands forward. And just relax on the mat. Four, five, four, try to relax your neck, three, two, and one, 
and walk your hands back lower your hips on the heels and roll up from your tea to the head and that's all for today hope you enjoy it thanks for joining our workout don't miss our next exercise too if you like our workout do share and encourage your friend to join in as well see you next time bye